Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial I want to show you how you can use an interact interface. So the idea about that is when you go through the game and you want to interact with a door, a car, a NPC or whatever, you just use usually the interact and then the E key or you can use whatever you want but just for example. And the idea is that you use the E key on every type just with you overlapping with. So first of all, we create a blueprint, blueprint interface. So this will be the interact underscore interface like that. So we open this up and the only function that we create is just interact. So the good thing about that is you can use this function in every class. So every class can see this function. So you can communicate between the character and an interact item, whatever. So first of all, let's go to our character so that we can build this function. So we go here and say interact. In this case, we want the input action like that. And now the next thing is we say get overlapping actors. So that we get every actor that with the overlapping. So we say actor in this case. So the next thing is we say for each loop with break, put the array right here. So it checks for every actor that, it, that we overlapping um, if it has this interface. So let's ask this here. So does implement interface and we ask for our interact interface like that. Of course, we need a branch here for this. So let's connect this right here. So on true, we call the interact function. So the interact in, uh, message in this case. On false, we do nothing, of course. And we put the array element, of course, here in the target and the return value into the break because he has to do nothing at all because it's finished. So this will be our interact from the character. Compile and save this. So now the character is able to interact with some things. So let's create one. For example, this door right here. So we go inside the blueprint of the door and we just go to the class settings. And as you can see, we can select an interface right here. So let's add something here. So this will be the interact interface that we created. So I'll compile and save this. And now we are able to call the interact function here. So this will be this one here. And as you can see, it is from the interface, interact interface, as you can see at this icon here. So the first thing is we say, we go inside here and say is closed. So get just a Boolean that you are created. I just want to make an example, just quick and dirty like that. Then we need a timeline just for example. And then we want to play it on false. We want to reverse it make rotator as next and then we will just want to set the that so we take our door here set relative rotation put the return value inside the new rotation the update inside here what we need now is we open this up here open it up a new one here. So and then we say add key, put this to zero, zero, add another key and put this to two and 90. And the length to two itself. So now we have a curve that goes after two seconds to 90. So we can close this here. And then just connect it here new track and what we can do here is 
we ask float uh, is bigger than another float and we check if it's 90 then we take a branch and then we just set the is closed to true or false depends on this condition so when we compile and save this we hit play we go through the door and hit e as you can see it open up and when we again hit e it closed so and you can use this with every item that you created in this case so let's use this tv itself so go to the tv i already set up that's just a um, static mesh and then we have a plan that shows up the the image or the video we have a media sound that plays the video and we have a trigger so just a box collision that we can interact with so here's a little bonus in this case i will show you how you can create a tv in this case so we go inside the new folder so i already load up a video here and what we have to do is we go to media media player and it asks to video output we hit yes pull this out here and this is the tv underscore player just for example and it already creates some texture so we hit right click create material like that great so now we go back to our tv we create a variable so that's just plus variable and then you can select the as you can see here media player just object reference and then we can select our tv player right here compile and save this we go back to our event graph and when we go to the class settings we can as it's a door interact interface so we just call the function here like that and then we go and and get that plane set the material then we set the material to the tv material like that and then we take our media player and let's just say open source and the source will be our video like that great so this will work as well so we go and hit play go inside the house hit e interact with and then we can interact even with the tv and yeah there would be play a sound as well but you know copyright strike i didn't hit the sound great so i hope you enjoyed the tutorial if you have any questions please let me know and yeah goodbye